Hey everyone, I'm Angela. Welcome to Silver Linings. Today I'll be reviewing Salsa from the Raquel Welch Signature Collection. She's actually been on my shelf for quite some time and she's been around the market for quite some time, but I found her on clearance and I've been wanting to try a wig that was in the size large. So this is a little bit of an experiment for me today and I'm going to be sharing that experiment with you right here right now on Silver Linings. And she's on. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about the style as I arrange her. As you can see, Salsa is heavily layered. Heavily layered and you can sleek her down if you don't want all those puffiness, sleek her down, maybe use a little bit of hair wax, especially made for wigs. Just keep pushing her down like that. Or you can do just the opposite. You can fluff her up if you want big hair. Whatever you're comfortable. But this is truly an out-of-the-box style truly out of the box style. And I have to tell you that I'm very surprised with this wig. First of all, the price point, wonderful. Uh, Salsa's been around for a while. She came from the spring collection 2017 of Raquel Welch, but apparently she's a very popular wig because she's still around. Uh, since I did a tease of this wig on Tuesday, I said that I'd be reviewing it today, Thursday, several of you have emailed me or texted me and said, "When? what is that wig? Because I teased it. And um, are you going to review it? So she's very popular. She's affordable. She's been around for a while, but she is a tried and true. Now for me, I'm a little bit more comfortable just smoothing her down. And then how I really love to wear her is with one of these square bands. And before I put the square band on, I do want to talk a little bit more about the wig. So the style, very, very layered, very full. I'll do a spin for you in a little bit. She's very comfortable. My head is large. Is My head is average to large. And when I say average, I'm right on the cusp of being large. And, and I have to say, this, this wig, one of the reasons that I bought this wig is this is the only wig that I have ever purchased in size large. And the only reason I bought her was not for the style, although the style is surprising me. I didn't buy her for the style. I may have already said this, but I wanted to see how I felt in a large wig. And I really feel good about it because I can bring those Velcro adjusters in just a little bit if I need to, uh, but it, it's just very comfortable. So I'm very, very pleased with my purchase. And I purchased her at Wig Studio one and I'm looking right at that page and I will show that in a little bit and of course link it below if you wanted to purchase this wig. So now I'll just take one of my combs here and just smooth that piece out just a little though you don't have to. You really this is just like a comb her with your fingers and go everyone. So easy. Such a surprise with this wig. I mean truly truly a surprise. And once I get my square band in there, I'm going to be perfectly happy. Throw her on. I mean, truly in less than three minutes, you're out the door. And just, and again, just a reminder, she is not a lace front. If you follow me, you know how I love the lace front. She's machine ma made. The bangs are, are doing a great job of covering that hairline. And why would you want to pay for a lace front when you're not even going to see see the lace front. I think she's really cute. I think she's really a classic. I think this is a wig that you could have for years and years and years. And again, she's fluffy, but she's not a ton of hair. She's very, very light on the head. Now let's talk for a moment about the color. I think that the color is absolutely spot on. If you love silver gray, you're going to love this color. 
the color is called R5660. R5660, Silver Mist. So in Saturday School, I'm going to talk about color in depth, but 5660, those are two colors in the gray family, in the gray wig color family. And Silver Mist doesn't really tell you a lot, but 56 tells you a lot, and 60 tells you a lot. So, love this color. It's one of my favorites. Sometimes um, people might call this Silver Stone, but every brand is different. So you really just have to, if they give you the colors, to me, that's a blessing. Because I, I at least have a fairly good idea of the true color of the wig. Now here just as a comparison, is Aesthetica's True, and I reviewed True, I believe it was last week. So look, this is iced gray. So here are two beautiful grays, if you love that silver gray. If you haven't seen that video yet or the review of True, I will link this since I'm mentioning it with since I'm mentioning it to you I'll link it below. Iced gray. You can see there's a little bit more gray in there. But definitely appropriate for those of us who love the silver gray colors. Now just a word about the density. I've already spoken about that the fact that you know, before I put her on my head, I felt like she had permatease in her, but now as I push down on the crown and I push down around on the sides, I do not think that she has any permatease in her at all. And I'm looking at the specs. I'm not seeing anything at all about permatease, but that doesn't necessarily mean that, they, that there isn't any in here. But So I have to go more by, by feel than what I'm reading on the particular specs. So, and yes, she does have a very heavy bang. She does have a very heavy bang. So that doesn't bother me because I don't mind a heavy bang. Some people love that. Some people don't, but I can go either, either way. Now, how she feels, I wouldn't say she feels silky. I wouldn't feel, I wouldn't say she feels rough. I would just say she feels like, hmm, maybe a little bit on the dry side. She's not a, super shiny, as you can see. And I've got lights hitting me on the top, on the sides, in the front. So... The color that you're seeing, hopefully, is spot on. She has absolutely no yellow in her. But how she feels is, I know she looks like she has a lot of hair, but there's really not a lot of hair on this wig. It, I think it's just enough. I'm looking at that little piece back there that's sticking out. I don't want you to think anything's really bad sticking out back there. You'll see in the spin. And she has, her hair type is synthetic, and it's made from a substance called Vibrolite. Vibrolite synthetic, and she weighs two and a half ounces. Very, very light on the head. Yes, she's got some, she's got some hair that is laying on, on the neck there. So, you know, in the summertime, you might feel that you want something a little shorter like a pixie, but certainly for spring, fall, any time like that, I think that this would be a wig that you would reach for again and again. Now I'm gonna do the spin for you.
I'll take you with me on the unboxing of Salsa by Raquel Welsh. And as always, what I do is I snap a photo while she's in the box. Technology allows me to do that right while I'm talking with you. And there she is. She's all clipped in. She has a hairnet around her. So I'll take that off. So the tag is off. The hairnet is off. Let's do a little bit of a review of the cap while we're here. She feels very full. So in the front, we've got the closed lace area here where I didn't see any specs for permatees, but it does feel like there's permatees in there. Now she's got the soft front. So that's going to lay nicely next to your next to your forehead, especially if you don't have any hair. And then she's got the extra hair sewn right into that band. So for a realistic hairline, she is, as you can see, absolutely open wefted for coolness. She has the open ear tabs. The ear tabs have a metal stay in them. She has the Velcro type adjusters, which will allow you to adjust salsa up to one half inch. Remember, this is a large cap. So if your head is really large, then you'll probably leave those Velcro, Velcro adjusters out. She has an open nape, as you can see there. Again, that's going to keep you nice and cool. I want to spend one more moment on the cap and show you something that I think is very important. Now, if you don't have white hair, you see these tracks in here? Let me see if I can open this up so you can really get a good look. See my fingers? And there's the tracks, that white band right there. There's not a ton of hair. It looks like there's a ton of hair on this wig, but there's really not. So if your hair, the reason I'm showing you this is if your hair isn't white underneath this cap, you're definitely going to need a wig cap um, so that it's not showing with where those tracks, where those tracks are open, it's not showing right through to your scalp. Okay? All right. And one final word about the cap construction for Salsa. Remember, too, she has something called memory, memory cap construction. So she's quite stretchy, but she is going to, when you, after you've had her on your head for about an hour, this cap will conform to the shape of your head and remember the shape of your head so that the next time you put her on, it's going to be, hopefully, a perfect fit. Meaning it will be a lighter, cooler, custom-like fit. Just a couple of styling points on uh, Salsa. She's fun to style. The very first thing that I would reach for is a little tiny barrette. Now this is only, I don't even know, two inches. It's got a little sparkle in her. If you wanted to just pull this bang back, if that's bothering you, if it's too much, you could take one, just any little clip you have, and you could either pop it right into the weft, where it's not going anywhere, or just attach it right to the front of the wig. And again, you could pull her down with your comb, or could use your fingers. You really don't need a comb with this at all. As a matter of fact, I think the messier she is, the more realistic she looks. So you could just have a little clip like that, or then I have some other decorative pins that you, know, you could pop those right into the weft. This is a good one. That goes right into the weft. So if you're at all insecure, that wig's not going anywhere. That wig is not going anywhere. I could even just kind of pull that up a little bit. Isn't that sweet? And... So I think you get the idea about the pins. And again, I put it right into that weft. Beautiful. 
Then I have these wonderful square bands, and I think this is probably my favorite way to wear it. So just pop that in there. You see the little jewels on the side of the square bands. If you haven't heard of these, you know that saying, you have to be living under a rock? Well, I guess I was one of those people living under a rock for a few years because I only discovered these recently, and uh, I love them. I absolutely love them. I'll drop a link below where you can go to Square Bands, use my code Angela, and you'll get 25% off retail. Truly. If you just went out there on your own, you're going to get the full price. But if you use my code Angela, you're going to get a really great discount. And they have all colors. all It's just wonderful. You'll see. So I think I like the black one with this. And again, it just kind of anchors it to your head. They fit like sunglasses you see and they've got these little teeth in there so they'll grab your wig or they'll grab your hair and then the little sparkle there I promise you put a hairband on your wig nobody's gonna know you have a wig on nobody's even going to think about a wig it's pretty amazing let me try it with this white one that I just had on that's nice too Maybe if I was being a little more dressed up, I'd wear the white one. And again, this part right here, you can smooth it right down. Just get yourself some wig, uh, some cream, you know, the, um, the thick paste that's made for wigs, and you could smooth it right down. Or, as I showed you before, you could poof it up. So I'm going to put the black one back on because that's my favorite. Yeah, and I just think that that, that, does, that does the trick for me. That does it. It's good with glasses. I wear glasses all the time. I think she's a real find. I, I, I can't say it enough. I think she's a real find, and I hope that Raquel Welsh doesn't stop making this wig. So glad to have you with me today for this review of Raquel Welsh's Salsa in the color R5660. And if you like, give it a like, hit the little bell icon, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And a word about subscribing. Some of you have told me I'm not getting your notifications. I'm going to show you how to subscribe so you always get the notifications. Okay, so I've just picked any topic. I love to bake, and so I typed into Google. You could see right up here, learn how to make biscotti. Okay, so I typed in learn how to make biscotti, and this was the first channel that came up. And I want to subscribe to this channel. Okay, so most of us, this is what we do. We hit this big red subscribe button right here. Sometimes there's a subscribe button right here. Now she's got her her logo there, but sometimes you'll see a red subscribe button there. But for now, let's just click on this subscribe button and then watch closely what happens. It says subscription added and you think, oh good, I'm done, I'm subscribed. You're not done yet. This is a two-step process. Now what you want to do is you see this little bell icon right here? See that? You need to click that bell. Now notice it's it's a clear bell right now. It doesn't have any color to it at all. Now watch what happens. Okay. I have to make a choice. None. I don't want I don't want any notifications. None. Or personalized. If you choose personalized, YouTube will decide when and if they want to send you notification and it's notifications and it's not that often and also by default YouTube will throw you into the personalized category so what you really want to do if you want to get all the notifications anytime I upload this doesn't affect anybody else's channel if you want to get all my notifications you just click all now you see that little bell now it's black so that's what you need to do, okay?
Now, I'm going to get all the notifications going forward from Oh Yum with Anna Olson. Let me do it one more time and I'll choose another channel just so that we go through it again. Okay, after we get through with the ads, let me pause this. And I've decided I like his videos, so I'm getting hungry watching this. I want to subscribe. So here we go. Subscribe. Hit the little bell. I want all the notifications. That's all you have to do. So you always have to remember, and that's why I say, if you like, give it a like, hit the little bell icon, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my notifications. So that's it. That's all you have to do. Now you understand how to subscribe and how to get the notifications. Now you can be assured that when you subscribe and hit the little bell icon that you'll get all the notifications. And remember everyone, look for the silver linings. They're always there. See you Saturday. Bye-bye.